Welcome to St. Philip Howard's Carol Service. Traditionally, our reception and year two pupils retell the nativity story and our whole school participate in our carol service. This year is a year of new traditions. Our carol service is sung and acted in bubbles, practiced outdoors and recorded in our hall. A special thank you must be given to Miss Marcheson for her recording and editing work. As we join together in celebration, let us hear afresh the remarkable story of the birth of Jesus. For indeed, it is a remarkable, extraordinary story. A story of faith, of resilience, of curiosity and peculiarities, of wonder and joy. And it has a lot to teach us. We can learn much from the trust of Mary, the selflessness of Joseph, the spirit of the shepherds, the staying power of the kings, even from the fear, jealousy and weakness of Herod. So let us journey with Mary and Joseph from Nazareth, with the kings from the east and the shepherds from the hills, as they make their way to a stable in the little town of Bethlehem, to welcome a baby lying on some straw in a manger.
a young woman called Mary was engaged to Joseph, a carpenter who has been who had been born in Bethlehem. One day, one day, an angel named Gabriel appeared to Mary on her hometown of Nazareth in the region of Galilee. Mary was alarmed, but the angel calmed and reassured her. Do not be afraid, Mary. I am here with Gabriel. They have found favor with God and will give birth to a son. You are to give him the name of Jesus. He will be great and save the, and will save the people from their sins. His kingdom will never end. Mary believed the angel and rejoiced at the news, for she was worried what God did to say. At first, Joseph was unsure what to think or what to do. But then an angel visited him in a dream, telling him he should trust in God and to take Mary as his wife. Mary must have been very frightened at the arrival of the angel and very daunted by the responsibility she was asked to take on. But her faith in God, her strength of character, and her capacity for love helped her to accept and embrace what had been asked. Mary made the chosen one. Call thy God to bear a son. Call to raise a holy child, selfless servant, mother mild. Mary made a gentle cure. Were you certain? Were you sure? So did you serve out? Did you waver? Did you doubt? Mary made a tender young. Heard the words the angel sung. Oh 
Whilst Jesus slept, Mary and Joseph rested. Elsewhere, others remained awake through the night, keeping their sheep safe from the hills above Bethlehem. There were shepherds living out in the fields nearby, keeping watch of their flocks at night. An angel of the Lord appeared to them, and the glory of the Lord shone around them, and they were terrified. But the angel said to them, Do not be afraid, for I bring good news of great joy that is for all of the people. Today, in the town of David, a saviour has been born to you. He is Christ the Lord. This will be a sign to you. You'll find a baby wrapped in cloths, lying in a manger. Suddenly, a great company of heavenly hosts appeared with the angel praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest and on earth. Peace to men whom his favour rests. Terrified that they had been, the shepherds trusted the angels and went straight to Bethlehem to see the baby.
Bearing the stable did about Mary, Joseph, and the baby Jesus. <coughs> Shepherds were overjoyed, and as soon as they left, they told everyone about the amazing thing they had seen. What a night it must have been for the shepherds, and what a range of emotions they must have felt. Shock, fear, fascination, delight, excitement. No wonder they went around and told everyone all they had seen. Their lives had been altered, and they wanted everyone to, to share in their elation and to experience their joy. Thank you. 
little child with his mother Mary, and they bowed down and worshipped him. Then they opened their treasures and presented him gifts of gold, The journey of the wise men to see Jesus adds a wonderful dimension to the nativity story. They were knowledgeable enough to recognise the new star, star in the sky. They were cultured enough to know its meaning. They were dynamic enough to follow it to Bethlehem, and brave enough to ignore Herod's instructions. And they were generous and humble enough to bring gifts to the newborn baby. As role models, we could not ask for better. Just as the wise men brought gifts to Jesus, so we are reminded of how the events of his birth continue to influence our lives and actions at Christmas time. Giving and receiving presents, making journeys to see loved ones, finding joy and happiness as we celebrate with friends and family. Let us make this Christmas a very special one. One that remembers those who are less fortunate than we are. 
one that puts the needs of others first, and one that delights in the small acts of kindness, which continue to make it the most wonderful time of the year. The school community of St. Philip Howard Catholic Primary School would like to wish you a very safe and holy Christmas and a very happy new year.